I just found out that I could actually access data, mobile data on my Surface Pro LTE without using a physical SIM card. Hi there. I was just about to go down to the Telstra shop the other day because my Surface Pro LTE, I'd actually taken the SIM card out of it because I'm using the Surface Go LTE at the moment. So I took the SIM card out of here and put it into that one. So I thought I'll go down to the store and get a new SIM card. But just before I did that, um, a colleague actually posted on LinkedIn here and said, Telstra now supports eSIMs or electronic SIMs on Windows 10 devices, including the Surface Pro LTE. So I was actually able to activate mobile data or cell data on my Surface Pro without even having a physical SIM card. So I wanna show you how I did that on the Surface Pro LTE. So just a couple of things, first of all, um, I've updated to the latest Windows update. So in, in my case, the October 2018 update, you need to have at least that update on your device to be able to access this feature. The other thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on the Wi-Fi icon. You'll see in the list here, uh, my Wi-Fi networks there, at the top, it says cellular, insert a SIM. Um, there is effectively on the Surface Pro two SIM cards. So there's one physical SIM card slot. I don't have one in this device right now. And there's also the electronic SIM or the eSIM. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna right click where it says mobile down here, and I'm gonna go to go to settings. All right, so I've got the settings window open on the screen here now for mobile. So this is in the settings app there under mobile and SIM one is selected at the top. So that's actually the physical SIM. In order to use this eSIM capability, I need to switch this to SIM two. So when I select SIM two, you can see it's changing. It's running through a few things there now. It might toggle this on and off a few times. It says getting ready. Um, I found that it seems to disappear and then reappear in a minute. So we'll let that do its thing. And once it's sorted, you'll notice now if I go back to that Wi-Fi icon, at the top here, it says get connected. So if I click on that there, connect with a data plan. So you could either do this from within the settings app or directly here from the Wi-Fi menu or the networks menu in Windows 10. I'm gonna click on it here and it opens up this mobile plans app. Once you get into this screen here, it's, it's actually suggesting that I connect with this company called Ubergy. Um, this is not a carrier that operates in Australia currently, unfortunately. And this is a carrier that has done a deal with the Microsoft Surface team to get their um, little ad page here first. Um, I'm not gonna use this company because it's not really gonna suit me here in Australia. I'm gonna click on choose a different mobile operator. And when I do, it flips across here and you can see that one of the options for me here is Telstra. And if I click on Telstra, I'm actually gonna go through the process of signing up for a Telstra prepaid account effectively with 30 gigabytes of data. So I click on continue. And then I'm gonna um, put in my details and sign in for a plan. Activate now. I just need to fill in my contact details, which I'll do, and then click on next to go through the process of creating an account with Telstra and then my eSIM will become activated. So I'll come back and show you that in a second. All right, so I've got to the final step. I fill in all my details. I've got a phone number now for this eSIM. I agree to the conditions and activate. So um, pretty simple process to sign up for this as an individual. So it's installing that now, setting up the eSIM and it's gonna be ready to go in just a second. All right, so I've just rebooted, and if I click on the Wi-Fi icon now, you can see Telstra LTE is connected. I'm also connected to Wi-Fi, so Windows is gonna use that Wi-Fi data first, but if I leave the Wi-Fi zone that I'm in right now, I'm still gonna be connected on the surface with LTE using that electronic SIM card, and now taking advantage of the free 30 gigabytes that they've given me as part of this plan. So there's a couple of reasons that I got quite excited about this eSIM technology in the Surface Pro. The first one is, well, I, I didn't have to go to the store to get online and get data activated when I'm away from Wi-Fi. But when I'm traveling overseas, the eSIM capability in the Surface Pro LTE is actually gonna allow me to get online with a local carrier without having to go to a store and get another SIM card 
don't need to carry around one of those little SIM card removal tools and try and get the tray out and swap SIMs and all those sorts of things. An electronic SIM makes a lot of sense from that perspective. But the other thing that is quite interesting is that if you're running a company and you have a lot of your staff using Surface Pro LTE, you could actually use a mobile device management solution like Microsoft's Intune to activate on mass data plans across your whole fleet. So again, your people with Surface Pro LTE don't have to come in to the office or you don't have to send them a SIM card and tell them how to install it in their device. You can just do that remotely through an MDM solution, which is pretty amazing. So Telstra is the first Australian carrier that's actually launched the eSIM product and it's only available on a few devices under Windows 10. One of those devices is actually the Surface Pro LTE. So it's one of the few. Um, just a little reference point here, the Surface Go LTE that I'm using over there does not have the eSIM capability, only the Surface Pro LTE. So uh, it does take a physical SIM card, the Surface Go LTE, but the Surface Pro actually has the eSIM capability built in. So just to clarify that. Uh, so if you want to use this, if you want to get online with an eSIM, Surface Pro LTE is the best option for you. All right, so uh, should I do another take of that? Um, now I have to come up with words. Um.